Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. How much more must the EU come apart at the seams before tragically nostalgic Remainers finally stop pining for it? Day after day blinkered politicians and online bores cluelessly blame Brexit for our economic woes which either long predate the referendum or were caused later by Covid and war. Day after day they fantasize about rejoining, as if that's our choice and the EU is still just as it was in 2016. Doesn't the surge there by right-wing parties deter these sore losers of the left? The EU parliament results are just an aperitif. The right will do far better at national level, as it already has in Italy and Holland. President Macron knows it and has grimly called a Duordi election in France. Like here, millions are outraged by mass migration imposed by supposedly centrist politicians, plus the ruinously hasty dash towards net zero. Germany, once the EU's economic engine room, is now a mega-polluting, coal-fired basket case plummeting towards developing nation status, in the words of its own stock exchange chief. Even labor, for now, is giving the whole mess a wide berth. Will remoner diehards ever get real? When even Labour's union allies denounce their net zero fantasies as pure zealotry, it's time for the party to wake up. Ideological eco-obsessive and known dud Ed Miliband has led Keir Starmer into an absurd and untenable position. The GMB knows that clean power by 2030 cannot be achieved without the lights going out and oil and gas workers being thrown on the dole. And when a source reveals that Labour's net zero dash is not being driven by energy specialists, it should terrify us all. Does the party have a clue what it is saying? That 2030 deadline cannot and will not be met. The obscene cost makes yet another Starmer U-turn inevitable. Lance the boil now before more damage is done. And Sekulas did not mean to kill motorcyclist Harry Dunn. But that's where any mitigation or sympathy for her ends. Her behavior since her lethal negligence outside RAF Croton has been cowardly and appalling. The US spy fled Britain on a private plane, refused to be tried in person and has now snubbed Harry's inquest, not even appearing via video link. Sekula's doubtless regrets mowing down the teenager as she drove on the wrong side of the road. But why would anyone of genuine decency and remorse, after killing a beloved son and inflicting torment on his family, hide instead of facing the music? It shames her and America's leaders who let her get away with it.